What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video. Now, normally on a Tuesday morning, I will give you guys my recommendations of what you should purchase from vendors across the board, but because of all the Destiny shit that come last night, I was literally up until 7 o'clock this morning making videos for you guys here on my channel. So what I'm going to do now guys, it's a bit later than normal, uh, a bit later than what I would normally do this at, but I'm going to give you guys my recommendations of what should probably have a double look at this week. Now there's nothing this week an absolute must buy. Let's just get that straight straight away because there isn't, not in my opinion anyway. But there are a few weapons which are definitely worth your time checking out. Now before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. It really is. Okay, so we're going to start with the Crucible Quartermaster. And he has two okay weapons and the first one being the B29 party favor. On this we do have glass half full, perfect balance or rifle with barrel and rodeo. Now this thing does shoot pretty quick. You do need a little bit of, well you need stability, no, no point in line, you need stability. On this we have two stability perks or if you wanted to you could have one stability perk with crazy range with glass half full which would be a great setup for you, it really would. Now I have a party favour, I actually enjoy using it, I really do. Isn't the best pulse rifle, definitely ain't the uh, best in its archetype, but it's definitely one to try out, you may enjoy using it. And the other weapon the Crucible has, um, which isn't too bad, is the Anton's Rule, a sidearm. If you're a sidearm lover, you'll probably like this, it's got an reactive reload, feed stock or lightweight, an outlaw or cascade. Um, not great sights, but okay they make a difference they do make a difference you can't say they don't when they do but it isn't a true biggie um so outlaw i'd probably go with outlaw probably lightweight and uh reactive reload on this because getting a kill or getting a headshot you reload instantly and reactive reload kicks in and you will drop enemies in an instant so yes they are the two that crucible have this week which in my opinion are definitely worth your time double checking out so we're going to move on to uh, factions right now okay so new monica this week has one decent weapon a weapon i am definitely going to actually purchase i think i need to switch to my warlock to do this though so i don't have to change faction on my hunter um, and it's this one right here, the Assembly 2. Now, if you're a fan of the Doctrine of Passing or that archetype of pulse, uh, auto rifle, sorry, like the Unbent Tree, the fastest fire rate auto rifles in the game, you should definitely check this out. On it, we have Counterbalance, Perfect Balance, and Armor Piercing Rounds or Quick Draw. I'd probably go with Armor Piercing Rounds here because you get that little extra range. But two stability perks on this is definitely needed and it would definitely destroy at close range. I'm definitely going to get this, try it out, and probably bring you guys a review video on it in the next few days, so stay tuned for that. So we're going to skip to another faction right here. Okay, so we're at Dead Orbit, and this week the Dead Orbit has one decent weapon to offer, and that being the Keystone 01 Scout Rifle. This being a high, rate, uh, high impact, sorry, a low rate of fire scout. Now, I've been waiting for this for ages because I've had this before, but it does, it does bounce. I mean, even though it's a slow rate of fire scout, it still feels like it bounces. So stability is what you need. So we've got a little bit of stability there with perfect balance. We've got extended mag and we've got hidden hand. I'm going to purchase this and try it out in PvP. I've got a feeling it will be a monster. So now we're going to switch to the third and final faction, which is Future Walkout. Okay, so Future Walkout, here we go. Now this week... They have one weapon to offer, that being the Pulse Rifle, the Waltz. Uh, this week it drops with uh, Counterbalance, Outlaw, Armor Piercing Rounds or Lightweight, uh, or you can have Small Boy if you want. But this thing, because it shoots so quick for a Pulse, it does need stability, and Counterbalance is the best stability perk you can get. Paired with Outlaw for instant reload when you land a headshot, and High Caliber Rounds to stagger your targets. I think this thing could be quite a beast, so definitely worth your time checking out okay so now we're going to end the video on vanguard and vanguard this week um have a couple weapons which you may want to take a double look at you may just want to take a double look at um the first one being the parthian shot now the parthian shot we all know is a two burst 
headshot kill if you're going to land two bursts to the head. It has to be at a relatively close range. Ain't going to do it across map because the damage fall off doesn't allow you to do so. But this week we have on it counterbalance, a small ball which include, increases slowly range and stability but lowers magazine size, or feather mag which also lowers magazine size but uh, hires the reload speed. Um, and we also have our outlaw or life support. Now this doesn't need that many bullets. I mean 21, 22, 23, 24 bullets would be fine. You would still drop your enemy because if you miss 21 bullets, if you can't kill an enemy in 21 bullets, just give up now. Just put your controller down and go play Viva Pinata or something because this game isn't for you. So yeah, Parfing Shot's probably worth your time checking out. Another weapon this week is the Teacup Tempest, which is the sidearm. We have on it Reactive Reload, uh, Fitted Stock or High Caliber Rounds, Zen Moment or Army of One, Sights we have Steady Hand, Sure Shot and Quick Draw, so you definitely want to go with Sure Shot there. But this is, and it will be, a great, great sidearm. It really will, so if you need a sidearm, probably worth your time checking it out. Now the last weapon I'm going to end this video on, which probably no one's even thought about taking another look at, is this one right here, the Continental. I think this could be a hidden gem, I really do. On it we have Hidden Hand, we have Appended Mag, and we have Focus Fire. Now this weapon, we know it shoots relatively quick for an auto rifle, so it does some, well, you, most of the time it needs stability, but when we've got Focus Fire, Focus Fire actually slows down the weapon's rate of fire, so it doesn't bounce as much, it doesn't recoil as much, so it will be a lot more easily controllable, it really will. Focus Fire, Appended Mag, so you, I don't know how many bullets you'll get, you'll probably get 44, 45 plus, with Hidden Hand, I think this weapon could be a hidden gem. And if I do get enough legendary marks by the end of the week, I would definitely be picking it up. But guys, that is it for another video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, none of these are must, must buys. Um, don't sweat your ass off trying to get them legendary marks to buy a certain weapon because uh, there's obviously going to be better rolls of every weapon I've mentioned in this video coming sometime in the future, so yeah. But they were just my recommendations of what you should have a double look at. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I will see you on that next one.